Hey everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be doing another Vegas tutorial and this one's going to be about 3D motion tracking images and text in Vegas Pro 16. And we're going to be basing it off of that little plus sign on the wall. Alright, so let's get started. So first thing is I dragged in a clip that I took of a mark on my wall and I rotated around it at about 180 degrees going from left to right and we're gonna make an image look like it's plastered on the wall and rotate with the camera. So it's gonna rotate in 3D. So first thing we wanna do is duplicate the track. Let's right click, do insert new video track. This one, hold control, drag it up, duplicates it. From here, we go to the Bezier masking and the Bs. Click it. I had best luck with the circle in this one because I don't want it to lose that plus sign because we're gonna be rotating. So I'm gonna drag the circle and we're just gonna Get right there. That looks fine to me. Go under mask one, go under tracking, hit start. And let it track this circle the whole time. All right, masking done, perfect. So I'm gonna mute it, I'm gonna show you the clip real quick. It's 60 frames a second footage of me going to the left side of this mark and then going to the right side of the mark. So that's what we just mask, so we can unmask that. Then we can make a new video track, right click, insert. And I'm gonna drag in a picture. So let's expand that picture to the length of the clip. And we'll probably wanna shrink it a little bit. So, looks pretty good to me. And then we drag pip, picture in picture. It's in the P's over here. Drag the default on here, it's gonna shrink it a little bit more. So you can increase the scale of this if you want it to look a little bigger, which I'm gonna do that. Let's keep it at one. That's the size I wanna keep it. So once we've done that, you wanna select the picture and you wanna select the tracked image by holding control and clicking it. And then once you have them both selected, go to tools, scripting, and then copy motion track to pip. Now we could actually delete the tracked image to save on resources. And we have this picture that's tracked with the wall on the mark. But you see it's not rotated with the wall yet, so we gotta do the 3D rotating now. So first thing is we can delete this track. So we wanna click the little options bars up here, and then we wanna go to compositing mode, 3D source alpha. So we're making this track a 3D source track. Then we click the bar again, and then we do track motion. And that brings up this window. This is your little 3D plane window. Here you can do everything with it. Right now, this picture is on a 3D plane. You can see from the top, left, and the front. You could rotate it, you could turn it upside down, you could do whatever you want with it, and you could do it all with keyframes. So that's how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna drag this over here for a second off the screen. So right now I'm pretty much right in front of the mark, and so I want to play the video, and then pause it right when I stop moving, which is about right there. So we look at the time down here, 4.06. Bring it back over here, and what we wanna do is drag the timeline here to 4.06. Once we've done that, let me take the x-axis bar, click and drag to where that picture looks like it's matching my wall. And it looks like it's matching my wall right about here. So we got that. We'll add some detail keyframes here in a second, but we're just gonna get the main ones. So now I want to right about there, because I'm looking at my shadow. This is pretty much right in the dead center again. So this is 718. Go back to the track motion and at 718, we wanna add a keyframe. Then we wanna take the front facing keyframe, copy it, control C, and then paste it over this one. So now, if we play it, it turns with us. Do you see it's not quite right? That's where the detail keyframes come in. So from there to right about the very end, which is 1222. Go back to track motion. Go to 1222, which is right about there. And that is the end of it. Let's go one frame back so we see where we're at. Take the X axis, drag it. My wall looks kind of like that. So from this keyframe to the beginning keyframe is the entire clip. 12 seconds long, almost 13 seconds. So from there, we want to add some details to it because this is what it looks like all the way throughout. So the, this is the gist of what you're gonna be doing.
which it looks pretty good right off the bat, but we wanna make it look a little better. I want it to stop moving while I'm not moving. So if I look right about here, which is three minutes, 20 seconds, I stop moving the camera. So we go back to track motion and at 320, we drag the marker up there and we'll add a keyframe. And then we're gonna actually copy this keyframe because I want the final position to be the same the whole time I'm stopped. So copy, paste, check it again. I start moving again right about here, which is 422. Bring that here. So we also want to paste the keyframe at 422. So now while I'm not moving, the picture's not moving, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. Just looks a little bit small because it should be getting bigger because we're getting kind of closer to it technically. So let's open that back up, track motion, right about here. We want it to be a little bit bigger. So let's take a corner and drag it. So that looks pretty good there. So we can copy, paste, paste. And then it'll start shrinking as it comes back to here. See how that works? Perfect. So we play it again. As we move, it shrinks, goes back to its place. So right about here. Size isn't too bad on this one. So I stop moving right about here, which is 1129. Go back to the track motion, 1129, right about there. Add a keyframe so we know where we're at. Copy this one, paste it over this one. And then I'm, I'm pretty happy with that size. So let's see what this looks like. Looks pretty good to me. Now this is all done with a shaky camera too. I'm sure if you got a smoother camera, it'd be a lot easier to match this. But roughly, this is what you have to do. And there you have it. The basics of motion tracking 3D text or images. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.